find someone that I pursued in the business of social selling. And um, when he told me the last time, you know what? I don't want to be involved in anything that is not by us for us. So, of course, you guys, when it came to Wakana, I knew I had him. It was nothing he could do but sign on the dotted line. And he has been here blessing each and every one of you daily and weekly and sometimes daily because I know you call him up. None other than our coach, uh, Dan Johnson. Are you out there? Excuse me, Phyllis. Yeah. Did you hit record? Did I hit what? Record. I did. Um, yeah, I, I hit record. You don't see it on? No, I, I didn't hear you say it. That's all. Uh, okay. Yes, I hit record. So, Dan Johnson, are you out there? Where are you? I am right here. I am right here. I am right here. Okay. How are you? How are you? Awesome. I, this is the best day of my life. That's what Dr. Pat said. And I am following in her lead because that's how I feel. I didn't mean to shut you up now. I don't want to take it away. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. I'm sorry. I was buckling my seatbelt and I want y'all to buckle y'all seatbelt too. This is a wonderful day that, that God has made and we're going to rejoice and be glad in it. You know, I was thinking about, as I always do, always trying to come with something fresh or something refreshed that appears to be fresh because we learned that we know that people learn by repetition. We know that in our industry, the secret sauce of really becoming successful is to learn systems and continue to repeat the cycle. One of the challenges that I found in social selling and the social selling industry, one of the challenges that I found in the sales industry is the ability or and or the capacity to be able to identify new people. Um, this is difficult because um, what we're taught and we're taught right and for many of you on the phone, it has it has worked for you. As you identify your top 100 people, and of course you go through your contacts and your phone, and you write their names down and their phone numbers down. But after so long, the truth of the matter is, those individuals um, you've exhausted that list, and then Coach Dan tells you to hit the reset button or the refresh button on the list, and go through the cycle again. But what I want to talk about this morning is really how to make friends. That's what I want to talk about, how to make friends and new relationships. Because the truth is, uh, many of us understand, and the reason why we go to our family and friends first, because they're called low-hanging fruit. Some may say they are your warm market. Those are the people that it's easier to get to, easier to talk to. And ideally, keyword ideally, you would think that those are the people that will support you first. So you want to go after that initial group. But when, in terms of making friends, how do you make friends? And this today is about relationship selling, but it's not about selling as much as it is about developing the relationship. See, oftentimes we become too quick to go in for the sale, but we haven't developed the relationship. We, we, we go in and ask for the money, but we haven't developed the relationship. We ask them to join our calls, but we haven't developed the relationship. So now you're, you've invited 100 people to join the call that you may not have that kind of relationship with, and as a result, out of the hundred, maybe three people show up. Well, well, what is the thing? Why is that? Because the truth is, here, here's the real truth. The real truth, your ability to get someone to join the call is based upon your influence that you have in the relationship. If you really don't have influence, if you really have not established a strong um, sense of trust, with the individual, 
then the likelihood of them following you is slim to none. And so there's a dynamic in social selling. There's a dynamic in multi-level marketing. There's a dynamic in the industry that we are in um, that we must realize that if we do not carry a certain level of influence, then it will impede upon our ability to be successful. So today, I'm going to, in the next six or seven minutes or so, I'm going to talk about um, four ways. That's, that number just came to my head because um, I have the thought. I'm going to talk about four ways, and I, I'd have to do it this way so I don't overtalk, keep you longer than I'm supposed to, and to make it easy for you to remember. I'm going to talk about four ways to make friends. And 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 I want you to, I want to just put it out there that I'm going to use a biblical context. I'm not about to preach. Don't worry about it. It's too early. But I am going to use a biblical scripture, a biblical context to show you. The Bible says this. If a man wants friends, he must show himself friendly. That's going to be the foundation. If you want friends, you must show yourself friendly. As kids, it's kind of easy. Um, it, it was kind of, e it's easier to develop friends. Uh, and the reason it's easier because, you know, kids just simply say, hey, do you want to play? They, they find people that have similar interests and they dive all in. As adults, though, because we have all of these filters of issues that we've experienced throughout our lives, it becomes more difficult. For some of us, we classify ourselves as introverts. By definition, that means we're not outgoing, we're not outspoken, we're people that keep to ourselves, and so, but yet we're in business. Don't really know how, to, how that works. So here's what we're gonna do. Here's the four ways. The first way is, um, and showing yourself friendly, is basically finding somebody that you can help. It doesn't matter where you are, you could be on your job. You could be wherever. Look for an opportunity to help somebody. And I'm not just talking about help them by giving them product or whatever the case may be, but just to genuinely help somebody. How, how do you look for somebody that has a need that you have the capacity to help? Show interest in helping somebody overcome a challenge. That's one way. Because how, how many of you know that if you had a need and somebody came to help you, they will be more susceptible to, to uh, you yourself will be more susceptible and feel the sense of indebtedness if nothing else but to, to give that person an opportunity that was trying to invite you or um, talk to you about anything. Why? Because that person helped me. So I want you to look for opportunities to help somebody. And when you do that, you'll find yourself in a position of potentially making a new friend and or acquaintance that you can later on have conversation and discussions about your business. The second thing, the second thing that I want you to do is I want you to establish your social base. I want you to connect in your social circles. Now, talking about social media. Social media is something different. I'm not talking about uh, trying to get new friends on Facebook. I'm not talking about um, private messaging, uh, you know, different people. No, what I'm talking about is I'm talking about development of relationship. So you know what your likes are. Some of you may like yoga. Some of you may like uh, the health club. Some of you uh, may like reading. Whatever it is that you like, identify social environments for you to become members of or because those that share the same interest is going to be in those groups. And now that you're all in the same group, you already have a common denominator and you immediately made a cold lead, a warm lead, because there's a similar interest that has nothing to do with what it is that you're talking about. That, I mean, what it is with what you do. It has everything to do with the fact that, hey, 
you like yoga, I like yoga, we all like yoga. All right? So the first thing is find somebody to help. Number two, find your social group to connect to. Find a social group to connect to, whether it's around fitness, reading, health, whatever it is, find a social group to connect to, and you're going to find new friends. The, 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 third, the third thing is, 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 is very important that we understand this, and that is take a co-worker, watch this, to lunch. And I'm not talking about taking a co-worker to lunch um, that, you, that you already you've already know y'all already no just start casually having conversations with with, with co-workers and things like that see where find identify the the point or the person of chemistry and then just simply offer them lunch now you may say well i, I don't know i don't know about taking somebody new to lunch okay bring them lunch say hey susan i'm going out for lunch would you like something and take some take a co-worker to lunch these are things that you could do because now over lunch, you're going to have two, you're going to have two conversations at lunch. The first conversation at lunch you're going to have is about your job and the people on your job and what you don't like about your job. You can't help yourself. That's what y'all do, right? Um, but the second conversation is what are you, it's going to be life outside of your job. So, so, so number one, we 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 want to find somebody we can help. Number two. We want to identify social groups that we can connect to. Um, num number three, we want to um, literally, we want to take a, some, take a coworker to lunch. You want to take a coworker to lunch. These, these, are, these are critical, you guys, in being able to identify and meet new people. Now watch this. You've got to understand that it's not who you know, and I've said this, millions of times is who you get to know it's not who you know it's who you get to know and so here is here is what what i would suggest that you do you can volunteer your time at um so for example um, my family we are a part of various associations not necessarily um, of our interests but just of work, just being able to volunteer our time. So we volunteer our time in packing boxes and stuff like that for Thanksgiving. We go down to the food uh, depository and help in those areas. So there's a m multiplicity of things that you can do where you volunteer your time. And when you volunteer your time, um, it's going to put you in direct relationship with um, the organization that you're volunteering your time with, right? is going to put you not only in direct connection with the head of that organization or someone in leadership in that organization, but it's also going to put you in direct connection um, with the people of that organization. And so here again, all of these things, the whole goal of today is to help you to make new friends, to help you to make new friends. And so, um, my, so I trust and pray that this morning as you, as you go to work, you identify new coworkers that you not necessarily have had relationship with. And I know it can be weird. You've been working there for 20 years and you've never actually said hello to this person. That's the person I want you to talk to today. I want you to talk to the person that you never re ever spoken with. So that means you gotta, you gotta bump into them on accident, but on purpose. And in that you gotta throw out some type of um, uh, introductory phrase that would allow you to engage in conversation. I'll give you an example. Um, I was at a function the other night, and there was this um, this mother that was talking about her daughter to somebody that I knew. Now I didn't know the mother, but I knew the person. Um, I knew the person that she was talking to, and she was saying how her daughter has now moved out. She's in college. She's going to change the locks if her daughter don't give her the keys by a certain time. Now, I didn't know this person. This person didn't know me. But this is how I got to know the person. It had nothing to do with what I was doing, what I was selling. It had everything to do with her and her conversation. I said, I don't mean to be nosy, but you're my kind of girl. And, and I simply, I, and they said, what? I said, see, I, I don't even have the guts to tell my kids 
they get, they they can't have access to 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 my home. And then that started the conversation, and that's how I got to know Miss Erica. Y'all y'all see that that that's how I got to know Miss Erica. It had nothing to do uh, with me trying to sell her anything. I just wanted to get. I just used that as an opportunity to get to know her. Well, listen, I'm not finished, but I'm gonna stop right there. Um, I trust and pray that the, I gave you some nuggets that you can take away that would allow you um, to to become even more successful, meet new people, establish new relationships, and gain new friends. Um, just as you hear um, Phyllis say all the time, um, we, we, we meet as strangers, we start off as associates, we then become friends, and now we're family. And so that is the way that you are to govern yourself and meet new people so that you can continue to update your top 100 list. That top 100 list should be changing um, on a consistent basis because you're constantly meeting new friends. All right, that's all I got for you. I trust and pray it was helpful. I want you to have a supernaturally wonderful Wakanda day and I'm gonna pass it back to the warm, the wonderful, the lovely, the absolutely stunningly amazing, Miss <laughs> Coach Phyllis Nash. Stop awesome, you. thank you so much. And I love that changing of your top 100. I was at an event this past weekend and I got five brand new top 100 people that I will be following up with today. And that's right. Meeting new people is the key to any business. I mean, not even just Wakana, just anything in life. You never know what's out there until you open yourself up to new things. And so I'm excited about following up with those five people. Another thing I'd like to say just before we leave, guys, is that there are brands, so many brand new people here at Wakana. And I need the leadership to step up. Sapphires and above need to be with their new people doing the sales academy training. These people need to know why they're in business, what their short-term goals are, what are their mid-term goals. You need to help them understand, be able to launch their business. You need to let them know how to sign up a customer. And see, if you're a Sapphire and you're bringing somebody in the team and you're not doing that sales academy training, you are not you know, supporting them in the business as best you can. So we need you guys to step up for the leadership. The uh, customer service lines are being utilized for training and your training is definitely right there in sales academy training where you learn and you do what your uh, sponsor taught you. It's also learned during certification. And then we still have Success Academy that has tons of information that you can listen to over and over again until you feel comfortable with it. And if you're not comfortable, reach out to your upline. That's why we get paid. That's why you get paid for helping support your team. So I'm going to touch bases with our customer service to ask some of those most asked questions so that we can do some discussions today at 6 30 on our training with coach dan but again leaders we need you to step up and be the leaders that are bringing all these phenomenal people across the country into our business because if you don't share it with them the system they're lost and i promise you they won't be there but if you pour into them and help them become independent that's how your business grows. So with that being said, today at 6.30, we'll be on Why Wakanda with the training from 6.30 to 7. And then put all your guests on at 7 p.m. That's where I'm going to do those five new people I met. 7 p.m. when you ask the question, Why Wakanda? So again, after that, Dr. Rita's team is up with uh, some education on our wonderful, phenomenal CBD products and our Flat Belly Challenge 2.0, guys. That's another uh, game changer in our business. So with that being said, go out and have a kind of kind of day. Bye now.